PI3. But I don't find anything in there convincing, really. It's a couple with all the geopolitical stuff. You know, you just got to be careful. Um, and there was quite a few cells come through yesterday. So four million. Wasn't it, yeah. Because well, if we were in a nice uptrend, then yeah, you you'd be just, looking for pullbacks. Yeah, and, exactly. But now it's yeah. slightly biased to the other side. Um, this is you what I'm thinking about. Hard work for very little <coughs> consistent return. Yeah, it is. It's, you know, that's what I'm saying about oil. I just uh, and <coughs> copper and gold. I like to use a triple leveraged um, wisdom tree. I've been using those quite recently. Um, Liberty Oil Field. Um, that's just broken out of there, but we got a bit of a shooting star there. What's the code? IBR. LBRT. Um, whether that pulls back to sort of, I don't know, somewhere in there, I don't know. But the valuation's increasing, gives it a little bit more benefit. I've got this one, a um, bit underwater at the minute, but we got a Darvis trade there. Yeah. Um, hopefully we can. But what <coughs> drew my attention to this, even though after I bought it, is this. Is the, oh yeah, the APS suddenly. Uh, the APS oh. has stepped up. Yeah. And that does normally proceed a bit of a lift. Yeah. Well, at least that's what I'm hoping, Bob. Mm. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 118, it's gone up 149, which is a fair old clip, really. What was it? Uh, property insurance, yeah. casualty. This is, I think, out of the, I think there's about five <coughs> industries in insurance. I think this is about the best one. Um, I don't think the UK insurers have been doing as well. No. The US is very strong, there's some great charts. Um, yeah. I mean, Prudential or the Viva, mm. I don't think they've been. I think if it comes down and clips that bottom, no. which will piss no, me no, off, no, 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 no. I might buy it again actually and just benefit from that leg up again. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. But that's, that's, that's worth of note. Uh, oh, one was the inch. Oh, 3rd of 11th, uh, the earnings are coming out, so we'll see. Sketches again. Um, that looks all right yesterday. It broke above the 200 day moving average there. Oh, yes. it, it, it came back yesterday on, on heavy uh, selling. But a lot of stocks did. Hmm. Um, again, this could be a Christmas trade. Yeah. Hmm. So if I had to have a look. October 22. In in the retail area, the sports area, mm. um, Lululemon seemed to be. Yeah, that had a good day. <clears throat> I don't know why it dropped. It uh, popped up because there was no earnings on it. No, they went into the S. Um, S um, yeah. How oh, is it? How oh, was yeah. that? Oh, right. yeah, that was. I mean, I had to stop, and then. Where did you it, hear about that? Uh, well, I've been following them for a while. Oh, all right. Because they seem to be doing some pretty good yeah, stuff. I did wonder. Uh, and mm. it was sort of ticking along, a bit up, a bit down. Mm. Uh, and then it, I, I wasn't even aware it was transferring, but it transferred and jumped 10%. Mm. Phil, Phil was, did you see Phil's message? Put it up again, Phil. Phil says, buy sketches, they're fabulous, basically. Yeah. Everyone's wearing them. Yeah, I've got a pair of them. They're good <laughs> yeah. insoles. And what? They're shoes. Shoes, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're good for older yeah. people because they're well made and they've got good kid conditioning. Yeah. I've got a pair of shoes. Cushy. Pretty spongy. Mm. But it, it, we got a run up there. That was last year, look, October. Um, it's a demographic stock. Yeah. Colin Scott's got it's Sketches nice golf shoes. Yeah, and that was undervalued. Yeah. Yeah. So Christmas coming. I mean, who knows? Yeah. Um, and the earnings are rising strongly. PE ratio of thirteen. It's not too bad. That's pretty good. Yeah. And they've moved more into sort of leisure. Sports, yeah, yeah. Well, they've got varieties of you know, hiking shoes as well, I think, yeah. which I might be interested in. Um, ARCO, this is just a wait for a breakout. Oh, um, yeah. This is an MPI 3, I think. Where did we get this one from? Oh, yeah, MPI 3. One. So that has crossed. The MACD's fanning out, earnings are rising. Mm. Just wait for a meaningful pop across the. Uh, 
above that trend line. Mm. Yeah, it's all right. I mean, it did come back a little bit yesterday, but if we see a nice green bar above there, the game's on. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. There's a ball flag, it's not a typical ball flag, but it's broken out above there. I would expect resistance at the 200 day moving average, it did it there, look. Mm. Um, it's valid. I think yeah. ball flags are supposed to be at the top of the channel, aren't they? At the yeah. top of a, mm. a move, rather yeah. than... It is, it's but, come right the way back, but it's but, still... But it's still, a, a, it's a worthy yeah. breakout from the channel. Yeah, yeah. and the valuation's at 90, so there's plenty yeah. there. The earnings are good. Right. PE ratio of less than eight. Yeah. Financial management. What's that yeah. in America? Hmm. Jesus, that is cheap. VOYA. Yeah, some of these are quite good actually. And a lot of the oil stocks, the PE ratios are like below ten. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Field service is a little bit different. Mm. You got you've got to pay a little bit of a premium for those. Uh, Urban Outfitters. I noted that yesterday. Um, yeah, there's an MPI three. Yeah, that's in the MPI3, the MACD. And you got a little bit of divergence there. That's going down and that's, that's going up on the MACD. That looks very good. Um, P ratio of 11. And you got this valuation that's come rocketing up. <coughs> so this could be another Christmas trade on it without doing any more sort of in-depth analysis. So a lot of shoes and power type stuff in there. Yeah, well, I mean, that's where we were last year. All right. Mm. So, and the valuation is well below it. Mm. And it still went up, so really, there's no excuse for it, is there? <laughs> you know. Nice. And then you see, like, the rest of the. Uh, there was a huge yeah. compression there. It just yeah. didn't do anything for three months, four months. So, testicular fortitude, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I was just surprised to see it was a. Officially, sort of, it's an official term that's yeah. out there. <laughs> David's word got out. Indeed, yeah. But it was just one of his uh, little mm. yes, I idiosyncrasies. Have to, I had to explain that carefully to my wife when yeah. she first heard him using that yeah. term. She thought, what did she say? Oh, I know about that, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Punch you in the ball just to no, no, no. Just, be careful. <laughs> just be careful where you put your knees. You know. I, I love the way he always said apologies to ladies present. Yeah. Mm. Uh, wonderful, wonderfully old fashioned, but MIT, at the same yeah. time. MITK. <laughs> well, we got a low risk one here. It's tested that, well, it's tested the 200 day moving average. I don't know if you can see that clearly. One, two, three, four, five <laughs> times. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. There is a level there, yeah, it's right on that 200 day. And the, and the, the valuation is, um, it's gone sideways, even though it's dropped. So that, that's quite encouraging. Um, and you can see the five and the 40 stock is on the wrong side, but it's, mm. it's not diverging away. So yeah. I think that, that, that's a potentially a low risk entry. Yeah. And in this environment, if you're gonna trade stocks, that's what you want. You've got to really mm. be pedantic and go in. Sure. And just look at those. I suppose a way to do it is to think, well, if I was going to trade everything I've got on this stock, you've got to make sure that everything's right. Mm. <laughs> Just right down to the sure. last bit, you know. Mm. Um, and if it breaks below, you're out. Yeah, I think in today's market, you've either got to be willing to act on your convictions mm. and act quickly, mm. or just step back mm. and watch it. I don't know what sort of software they're into, uh, I don't know. <coughs> but if that sort of pullback from a high and you're not, <coughs> not paying the top place and you can take a low risk trade. Yeah, well, that's what interests me is the valuation's yeah. still there. No. Uh, that's what I'm looking at. That was the earnings the call. So the next yeah. day it went up, there's obviously a lot of sell orders up there and it's just slammed down, which I don't know what the earnings were. I don't, I don't know. Um, um, Cisco Corp retail food. Oh gosh. Um, this is an AB equals CD. It came right back down yeah. to there. Yeah. Um, there's a little micro double bottom in there. Came around, tested it, it's bounced off. And again, the uh, the valuation is 
He's up there. Um, Mac yeah. D's crossed. Where did I get this one from? Oh, SYY. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was an MP3. Actually, no. Super stuff. No. Oh, it, that was uh, yeah, the Mac D, that's right. Mm -hmm. But the earnings are in the right ballpark, I suppose, 15 PE. It would have been better that's to get 15. in there. But it, you can see where the, the money bought it there mm. on that pattern. There's no doubt about that. Uh, that's it for that. Um, shall I do this um, <coughs> four bar thing? Yeah. Does it take very long, Steve? Not Just really. Look at the time. Give, give me time. What, what do? What? Well, we, we're running late um, as because you know, we started late, and mm. then we're probably running over a bit. But yeah, do it. Do okay. it. But just. Yeah, sure. Skate through it. <laughs> we can come back next month if we want to. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Now I put this in couple of days ago. That's the, oil, the gold market pull that you said was a yeah, bit limp wristed. What's the big graph? Hmm? It's still not above, it should be above 2,000. It will, it's getting, it's up above that line today, or it was yesterday. But anyway, let's just, just crack on with this. That's the bar. <coughs> Sorry, this, I should have zoomed in there. Um, <coughs> that pin bar it's broken the lows of these ones and I've noticed this quite a few times there's one of these on Tesla but if you get three or four bars inside that big bar and it comes down and take these out that normally proceeds a run up the page it's quite strong and there's a level back here somewhere so if you see that when it's at a low it's almost like a no-brainer yeah and it really does go I mean that gold trade and look at the stochastics, the Mac no. D, they're, oh, yes, they're all in the lows. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's just yeah. obvious. Yeah. Uh, this is the dollar. Is that an eight in a eight week and eight day? Yeah. 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 So, can see. so what yeah. you're saying, Steve, is there's one big bar yeah. followed by three or four. Yeah, that's the idea. Indecisive bars. Yeah, that one there. Inside bars. Yeah. I'm taking mm. that bar that or well, the fourth one. Is normally lower yeah it takes out the lows Being now there are area. variations of this and it is a little bit difficult an engulfing one is the better one isn't it like the one you had yeah well the uh, there are different um, variations okay mark emailed this over on whatsapp um i think it's oh, a weekend yeah. but that's that's an, another different variant yeah. but look how well that works yeah <coughs> you know the pink part so is part did you work. were you talking about uh, a search for this particular yeah I have got a search and Mark helped me do that I mean I probably could have done it myself but it would take me weeks um, I, I can't it's very difficult in fact to get exactly what you want you got the amount of share pay you could have hmm. yeah but I, what I'm looking for is some pattern Definitely. recognition I don't know if trading view can do it they've got you can implement it can't yeah. you so trading view has a programming language behind it yeah. which is um, well, it's on the same lines as you search but it's, it's much more extensive yeah, I know. Yeah. And, and the, the thing I found about it is um, every time I want to make, make me to mm. go something up with it I, I can do a quick google and someone has it done first because there's thousands upon thousands of people mm. putting code in there Yeah. so everything from flag patterns mm. you know, um, breakouts no, but I haven't done this one though probably not this is really good and if you get it at the low point, see this double bottom there? Yeah, followed by a gap. Can you imagine? That would be heaven, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> all I do is I look at the evidence, and the evidence says, well, yeah. you get that. Um, there was slightly different variation that. So what makes you feel, stay, feel confident it's going up and not going down? Because um, other people would read that and say, it's just a period of indecision. Well, yeah, but no, the pin bar gives it away. <clears throat> no, well, I just this reverse psychology, isn't it? You know, that's where. And again, what David said is, you put your orders where all the muppets are putting their stocks. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is actually a spring, isn't it? That's that. <coughs> yeah, it, it is actually. That that 
if you look at it in a wider well. context. Yeah, yeah. And the fact it, it's an it, A, B equals C, D, not quite. It's a fail downward break, mm. followed by a strong But I love these. Movement. Like, yeah. You know, it, this is Arch Capital. I've done a blow up there. But you can see, and another thing, these sort of generally lurk around in the same neighbourhood because you get them at those extremes and then you get this uh, this change of behaviour by the money, the big money, mm -hmm. and that's, that's what you get, and that's just a representation of it. And there's one there. Yeah. That's perfect. That's a three bar. You get that big red bar there, one, two, three, and there it goes. Um, that, that's just another example. Hudson Tech, I think there's two on this one. You got it? Yeah. Can't get that, I'll get this bloody thing out of the way. Oh, there we go. There's one there. Well, I think I'm up about 170% up. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the best ones I've got there. Yeah, good. Um, what do you pick that up? Does that affect the place? Yeah, yeah, this is, yeah. yeah. I can't yeah. remember now. Doesn't bear as you can see, there's two different variants there, but it's it's done the same thing, uh, and they look very good. Um, that's the other one. See that? Yeah, look at the gap again. Yeah, but Rocket normally you, normally you see these at the bottom of a downtrend. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say halfway up, they normally don't yeah. work. <coughs> but <coughs> the, 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 the bottom and earnings. Bottom. Yeah, I, I don't know. No, that was this wasn't an earnings in the middle. But if you look at towards the bottom, what there? No, down down the page to the one to this look here. You got earnings down that down. Oh yeah. Oh there there, there, there yeah yeah. 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 Um, but it's, it's just one of the evidence that you do see them in different places. Um, but normally, when you see them at a real low, that's absolute gold mine. Um, okay. Um, there's a couple more. That one, same there. Um, What's that? T? TTI. That's <laughs> four man. <laughs> Trotters <laughs> Independent Traders. <laughs> there's another one. Where is this one? Yep, there. And you do have to be really uh, sort of focused on these, but sometimes they just. Vista. Vista. Vista Energy, Vista. yeah. Genie Energy is one there. There's the blow up of it. Uh, <coughs> Some of the South American um, power stocks have done well. Pampa, yeah, uh, and Pertus, yeah, yeah. Uh, this one? Yeah, there we've got one there. It's taken out that low. And you, sometimes they're not obvious, but you can just see the behaviour of, of institutional money there. As, as you see there, see that run down? And then it just pops. Um, Tesla. Down 7.76% so far today. This is a typical one. Look at that bar down there, and you get yeah. three and pop. And that's it. They're roadside bars, aren't they? Yeah, but uh, it's that one that's crucially important because you, you yeah, see that it's still taken out. Well down with great. Yeah. But that's what I'm trying to do, trying to get a uni search. These are generally the best ones. Well, if you get a uni search, then could you present it next month? Yeah, I've got, I've got one for it, which yeah. I, Mark helped me do, but. Um, um, I want to fine tune it really, um, but are we running out of time? I don't want to take. Can I, yeah, we can stop whenever you're ready. Can yeah. I ask you something? Because I I noted the the uni search. Your bullish, I think that was the bullish hammer one. Mm. I, I I entered it actually this morning before I came. I've been quite busy recently. I've yeah. Trying to do these things and it takes quite a while, as you know, mm. figuring out where to find all these things. I did eventually. Mm. Um, is it only? Yield. I think in the, when you commented on it in, mm. on your post, you mm. said that it yielded a huge number of stocks. I think. Uh, yeah, there was one search on one particular yeah. day. Yeah. yeah. 
I mean, I'm only getting like one, I think. Yeah, there was one today. Yeah, that okay, so you think, I no. have inputted it correctly. No. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, there was uh, there was yeah. one on both the and every day when you won't get any. Yeah, you know, but then well that that says that that's that good post though, which I sent it was I can't remember what day it was. One hundred fifteen. Yeah. Yeah, but they were all up, mini two and three percent, but they were all yeah. up. Yeah. You know, like Christ. Mm. This is a um, okay. Yeah. Unisearch for a bullish hammer. But I'm sure you've got that 